Yeah, here we are going to play a little basic Fourier exercise on Excel. Doing a little basic. What we have done here is uh, there's a function, a sine function, which is down here. Time is here. And what we've done with the sign is that we have made some offset so we can just offset each and every one here. So there's a fundamental frequency, two times the fundamental, four times, and then nine times the fundamental frequency. Uh, okay, so what we uh, what we have here, and uh, the, yeah, and then we have two test functions, a sine and a cosine, because we want to do the Fourier. Uh, and uh, here is the sine, and here is the cosine. Uh, and then we have uh, the function we want to analyze, multiply with the test function, sine, times delta t, and we have summed that uh, down here. And we have done the same for the cosine function here. Summed it down. Uh, and here are the sum, and uh, then we do the amplitude calculation according to Fourier. With the amplitude is two times uh, two two divided by delta t divided by the number of samples we have two hundred forty six uh, and times um, uh, the sum or the int uh, the sum yeah sum of products and we do the same here for the for the cosines and this amplitude here is just the square root of the two uh, of the of the square of the two amplitudes to get the uh, absolute value. So uh, first we can uh, just have alpha and beta zero, so they are pure signs here. Uh, and at one, okay, we get back the fundamental frequency, which is a one, and there's no, this is an even function here, so there's no cosine part in it. And we can do that for two, at 1.1, we can do that for four, at 1.2, these are the amplitudes in front of them, and we can do it for 9, and we have 1.9. If you try a frequency that's not in here, and a sine frequency that's not in here, for instance, um, 8 times, we get 0, because it's not in here. So the integral here just computes to 0 for both these. So uh, what's shown down uh, shown down here is is uh, just these columns here, that column and that column. Uh, if we go back to the fundamental frequency one, uh, we can also test the DC part, which is zero. There's no calculate, so we can go back to one. Uh, okay, there's an amplitude of one. So now if we that's the alpha. If you try that one, it's 45 degrees. Okay, we get an even amount of cosine and uh, sine in in uh, that function at the fundamental frequency. At 90, we get a pure cosine, and it's odd function, only odd function. We can go back to the sine. Uh, for the entire function, we make 45 for both of these just check it out, now at 2, uh, the beta here is also 45, so the 2 should get, get an even amount of sines and cosines, and 1.1 as the absolute value, so that's what we have here. Uh, if we do the 4, we should do the same, got 1.2, even amount of cosines and sines, and also with 9, do the same, even amount. Uh, 8, for instance, should be 0 on all of them. And uh, in this case, the sum here of the orange and over the time period adds up to 0, and also for the blue one just adds up to 0. It's not that easy to see down here, but they do. Um, yeah. Uh, what we have to do too is, uh, is have, we have to test, for instance, for 5, should also be 0. This three should be zero. Uh, oh, three should be zero here. Uh, three, five, and six is zero. Seven is zero. Eight we have tested. Ten should be zero, and there should be also zero for for large number of frequency. They're not in. Now we could try hundred. Still zero. We 
can do two hundred thousand still zero and go back to one. And so what we're doing here with uh, now we're just looking at this one. So what we're doing is that we are just shifting the compound function here. So if you want to just look at one of these, just the sign itself, you can see here where it's, uh, it's uh, the blue ones has shifted a little. So if we select zero here, of course it's going to be, uh, be hidden behind uh, the sign here. And the same if I, uh, if I select 19, it's going to be hidden behind the cosine. And at 45, you can see it again. So now there's an even amount of, uh, an even function, an odd function, even amount of a sine and a cosine is this one, in this one. 4th Fourier uh, decomposition of this function. So this is the function we have in and then we get out uh, the amount of each frequency just by altering this one. So play, play with size. Now this one, the, the cosine part is said to be uh, imaginary so there's a j associated with it so and that's why we take the absolute value here the square root of the squares of these to get uh, get uh, actual amplitude. 